Hey guys, and welcome to my next episode of Challenge Kieran. So this week I decided to do a challenge that was posted in the comments last week which mentioned doing glaciers in free to play gear. However, a lot of people said it's probably a bit too easy, I mean... But then other people were like, you can't use pre parts and things. But I decided just to make it sure that it is harder, I'm going to do it from scratch. So basically I'm going to log into a free to play world, get all the stuff I need for glaciers, then log into the members world and kill the glacier. So that's effectively what I've done in this episode and by no means is it easy. I'm telling you now, it's not easy. So, another another challenge that got a lot of thumbs up, it got over 100 thumbs up, I think, was to do all the dragons from scratch, from, like, babies up all the way to, like, myth and brutals. However, like, while it does sound like a good idea, it's the problem is that it's going to be too long. I mean, doing that many dragons in one episode is going to be a long episode. I mean, this one is obviously, like, over 40 minutes, and that's long enough. So... <laughs> If you can change that challenge somehow to make it shorter and fit into one episode, then please post it in the comments below and if people like it, thumbs it up and I'll possibly do that one next week. So this episode is obviously the Glaciers and do post in the comments any other challenges you want me to do and do thumbs up any challenges that you like because I can't do this series without good suggestions for it. So enjoy the video guys. Right guys, so I'm in Lumbridge as you would start from any from scratch basically let's just kill the simp go on go on kill the simp go on give us some beast give us something beast like this is like i've spent quite a while trying to figure out what i'm going to do to get stuff in free to play which is quite a challenge to make some money because i need to buy runes obviously for glaciers now i thought about rune crafting however getting talismans is very difficult because they can't just buy them on the g and they're really rare monster drops so i figured right so i'm gonna need to kill um soldiers these um these soldiers in the um, dungeon like at, at, um what's it called Barbarian Village. So I figured right, what I'm gonna do is go and mine. I'm gonna make an Addy two H, which means I need to mine three Addy O and eighteen coal. And I don't know if you can hear that alarm outside, but it's very annoying. And so I'm gonna make an Addy two H and I kill, kill, can kill these soldiers. Now the thing about these soldiers is they drop two H's quite commonly. Not two, which is rune scimitars, and and if I get two rune scimitars, I'll have all the money I need. So then I can sell them and buy afford enough runes, and I shouldn't really need much more money. So currently, I'm just I'm gonna run to the um, monastery, which I don't know why I ran this way because it's probably slower. But I'm gonna get monk robes, which I'm gonna actually use when I kill the um, glaciers anyway, and this will give me some extra prayer bonus when I kill these soldiers because I'm actually gonna have no food while I do it. And no armor, hence I'm going to probably get to get ruined. So let's just run up here. Wow, your run drains freaking fast and free to play with no agility. God damn. It's better not be members. I'm sure this is free to play. Yes, monk robes. Look at monk robes. Take monk robe. Take monk robe. Yes. I am, I've got like a full set of gear now. Oh, yes, I'm beast. Right. Right, let's go. Right, I'm going to head to the um, dwarf mine because I know there's at least three Addy Rocks in there where in the free to play section and I can get some ores that I need. Now, I'm not sure how long this is going to take with a um, bronze pickaxe. Probably going to take a lot of piss, you know? Come on. I don't know if it's worth resting or not. I've never known. Is it worth just walking or is it worth resting and then running? Hmm, it's a tough choice. But I think I'm gonna rest. Now I've not a clue where the freaking Addy O is in here. Uh, I'm actually this is gonna take quite a while, I think, to manage to kill a glacial, I mean, from free to play. It's gonna be quite difficult. I've got an idea of kinda of what I'm doing gonna do, but I'm gonna have to fish some food so that the glacial just can't take me down with a few mistakes. Actually, I think I'm gonna mine some um, lobsters, mine some lobsters. What the fucking hell am I on about? Um, fish some lobsters and free and um, you know what it's called, karamja, which means I need 30 g 30 gp for the boat. And you underestimate how hard it is to make money and free to play without using the GE, because you think there's many things you can go and do and sell it on the GE, but oh yes, adio. I can't just, you know, where's the third one? The second one there. And there's a third one somewhere. Just gonna right click these rocks. Oh, there it is. 
and you underestimate how much, how hard it is to make money on free to play without using the G. There's many things you can buy and just go um not buy. You can buy like pure essence, and you can sell that on the GE pretty damn easily, and make decent money. So it's not too hard if you can use the G, but from scratch doing everything yourself, it's difficult because you'd think elk stuff, but I haven't got an explorer's wing to get free elks, which is difficult because I need to get a nature runes then. Where do I get nature runes from? A monster drop by crafting them. I can't get crafting them because it's members. And I can't... I can't just kill loads of monsters hoping to get some because it's too rare. And I've got limited monster use in free to play because it's just... There is only so many monsters. So it's a big problem. Like... Actually, I'm going to be using Firebolt because... It's too. There's, there's not enough death runes sold to use blast, so that is the other problem. And fireball, like there's enough chaos runes in stock, 30 in each store, which means I can get 60 casts. So it's hopefully should be enough if I use melee to kill the minions, which I think I'm going to. The other thing is I haven't got prayer pots, so taking one down in 990 prayer is not going to be easy. Hence why the monk robes are going to help with their prayer bonus. But I'm not sure what else I can get for Fable's. And will this Addy Raw just... Addy Raw just fucking mine? <laughs> Why don't I just get a bit... <laughs> It'd have been quicker if I had just got an Iron Ore and smoothed an Iron Pickaxe. It really would. Because this is taking the mech. There's enough coal. How long that'll take me to mine, I don't know. Because I need 18. On to the third Addy Ore. Let's go. Let's go. Right guys, so you don't want to watch me mine, so I'm just going to unpause the video after I finish mining all the stuff. Or at least most of it. Right, so as you can see, I've nearly managed to get all the coal. So I need 18, 4, 8, 12, 15 I've got, so I need another 3. This rock's up. I'm just mining like between these rocks. It doesn't seem to be getting any order because it's such a, it's such a variable amount of time it takes me to mine it. Sometimes I'll get it that quick, and then sometimes I'll be on it for like fucking half an hour. This took ages to get these. You, you underestimate how shit the bronze pickaxe is. Thank God I'm 99 mining, because if I wasn't, this would be taking the mech. There we go for number 18. Oh. <gasps> this one's up, this one's up. Go, 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 go. Fuck this. Wow, King Scorpion, that one's a beast. Wow, Scorpion shouldn't grow that big. Yeah, that's fucking huge. No need for that. Like, let's home tell you to Falador. I remember when you were a low level, these used to attack you, in these King Scorpions, and you'd, like, back in the day, every, it was packed in here, I swear, in free to play, you'd come in here and it'd be packed with people mining, so there was that many people here that King Scorpions wouldn't attack you because there's, it, it's like the living rock caverns now, like, you go to a world where there's shit tons of people because, therefore, you've got less time, less chance of getting attacked, it was kind of like that, and, <laughs> but now it's empty, as you see, this is the problem with free to play, it's just, dead. Uh, it's it's quite sad. Go, go. Free Eddie Bars. I'm going to have a beast weapon then. I'm going to have to kill these with like prayer flecking. I know Glacial is the fact I'm going to have no no um, prayer pots. I'm going to have to prayer flick it because I'm not sure whether 990 prayer pots is going to be enough. And I'm hoping 60 f I'm hoping 60 spells will be enough. Because if it's not I'm going to be fucking screwed. I mean I'm going to have to melee it. I'm going to take Addy 2H for the minions I think. Because it's probably going to be faster. But I'm going to take a lot of damage on the minions, I think. Because I'm going to have to lure them. And let's use this pickaxe here. Smith pickaxe. Open door first. That'd help. Smith, smith, smith. Addy 2H. Make one. Oh, yes. 188 smithing XP. Look at this. I am total. I am total beast. You see, the reason I took a 2H instead of a smith at all is because of the fact that. It's um, the, these monsters are weak to crush, and using basically like a semi is not, doesn't have crush. It's pretty much prominent with slash. Imp, 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 kill, 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 kill. Oh yes, go to it. One hit. Back to back bucket. That's the one. That, that's what I got from Lumbi. If you didn't realise, that is ridiculous. Don't know if I'm going the right way. Will it make a difference if I run down here? I hope not. <laughs> There we go, enter crevice, enter crevice. Oh my god, my run is out. I wish there was some way to get easier money, like a 10k. I know if I'm doing stronghold of security, you'd get 10k. Oh my god, this guy's killing them. He's level 126 like me. I'm gonna kill it. Fuck him. 
Oh, I'm on curses. That's not good. Oh, it's mul it's mul it's free to it's multi combat. Oh, that's not good. I have to go switch to prayers before I come back. That is not good at all. Well, I thought you switched to prayers automatically when you went to free to play. That's ridiculous. Oh, he stole the drop. That is not clever. I'm gonna have to go and get prayers because I'm gonna have to hot world as well because this guy is gonna steal all my kills. Yeah, but he's going to get the drop. And I'm getting wrecked without prayer. Right, so I'll be right back while I just get prayer. Right, so I'm back, and I healed up the full HP and just prayed it and all that. So let's get back to killing these. If there's any someone this Oh, yes, empty. Wow, there's three. I thought there was only two. Let's get killing. It's pretty melee. I don't want to take damage. Now, these attack... If you've never killed these, these attack with range if you're from a distance. But they are unaggressive, so it's really easy. If I stand over here, it's going to range me. It doesn't walk towards me. But its range is powerful, supposedly. Oh, I hit zero. Good fight. 99 defense for the win. Come on. This is draining my prayer. Yeah, I don't know the flick time on this. Don't know, I've never killed these before, so... Come on. I've never seen something so crap at hitting in my life. This genuinely is bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill. I need to get two simmies and the uncommon drops. I hope they're not too rare. My friend recommended I do these because I asked like how to get some money in free to play without using G. And two and rune simmies sell the general store for about 10k each. So if I get two of those, I can get 20k. And it's such a rip off selling them at a general store 10k each. That's so bad, isn't it? Maybe I can sell them to the Alcarid Simi shop and I'll get some more from them. So I think if you sell it to a speciality shop, you get more out of it. I'm not 100% sure. Fire runes. Oh, I need them. 58, that's bank. I need them anyway. That's going to save me some cash. What a winner. I'm just, I'm just on a roll. Ah, oh, these things take a while to take down, don't they? With this stupid Addy 2H. Oh, I'm beasting. My prayer is rapidly falling. Come on, I hope I get a rune semi tower quickly. If not, I'll not be happy. Come on. Look at these zeros, this is ridiculous. I knew killing a monster for getting money would be a bad idea, to be fair. Such a, such a base going off luck to get a rune scimitar is a bad choice, because I know for a fact I'm going to get absolutely trolled and not get one for absolutely ages. You just, you just see it coming, can't you? I'm sitting here killing it. And it's taking ages. They said the weak to crush. I said I'd be better using slash. Let's try slash. Oh well, zero as well. That's it. I'm just gonna keep on using slash, I think. Seems better. Don't know why. Mithril or Mithril or free. These are all things I can sell, to be fair. I can sell all of it. So it's not just getting rune scimitars. As long as I manage to get up to about 18k, I should be good. Don't know what else I can buy, really, though. Is there any point in getting a cape? There's no capes in free to play that have really got stats, is there? No point. Don't know how I'd get an Ami. Don't know what gem I'd need, or how I'd get a gem. Unless I get one from here, then I can see. Helm. Is there any helm I can really get? <coughs> I can get a wizard hat, actually, from the shop in Portsmouth and sell them for 2 GP. And that'll give me some bonus. Don't know about boots. If I sell boots, I get boots as well. Ring, there's not really anything. Gloves, I don't think there's really anything that'll help. Shield, don't don't actually think there's anything. But I think I'm gonna buy. A f I think I think the shop in Varrock sells staffs, and I can get a, get a fire staff or an air staff, either one. And they'll have they'll have some major tech bonus, which will help. Oh my god, back to crush, because this is ridiculous. There we go. Come on. This multi combat, this is ridiculous. S start loot sharing these things, because they're a fucking beast. I think these are actually one of the highest combat monsters in free to play. Which is quite insane, considering, like... Oh, phone's going off. 
how considering how weak like <laughs> like these are just level 83 that's so low compared to members it's weird because free to play was actually kind of fun to be fair when I first started it seems so dead now there's such a lack of people oh adio one oh not as good as I was hoping for I'm using my prayer I guess I'm just gonna have to go run to the monastery every time I run out of prayer and get new prayer points because I can't take these on with no prayer because they literally do own oh piety you can't even use piety man what's the attack for incredible reflexes this will make me more accurate which is kind of what I need don't know if that was on at the right time oh yeah not too good at flicking but hopefully this helps even if it uses a few prayer points it's better than keeping it on come on this is actually so bad I think I'd have been better going for the Addy Simi because it's so fast like using a slow weapon that's still quite inaccurate isn't a good choice is it look how bad Addy 2 h just looks they, I can't wait for them to do the update that they improve weapons they did the armor update but a weapon update would be great coins great 160 coins thanks Jagex thanks so I'm already 15 minutes into this video and I don't want it to drag on too long so I'm gonna pause it while I kill a few more of these oh my god I'm gonna die gonna die gonna die go 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 oh my god no oh my god no uh, Edrill go Oh yes, I get my beast grave in free to play, don't worry. And I need to sneeze. There we go, that's better. Just sneezed. Didn't want to hear that, did you? So, yep. That's probably quicker than going to the monastery, not gonna lie. That was pretty quick. Monastery's all the way over there. Dying's where it's at. Mithril ore. Oh, bones! I can do this for money! That is bank money, just dying for the bones, you know? Why the hell am I on block? That's retarded. You know how you've seen how much of a retard you look when you use block. Watch this. What the fuck is that? Of all the things you can do with a sword, he decides to do that and look like the biggest e hole in RuneScape. Like what? Who? Which GM decided that animation was good for block? Oh my god. Anyway, I've had some more mythos, but I didn't get many too too many kills before I died there because my prayer ran out. God, come on. <laughs> it, I'm so impatient now. I'm used to the member stuff. Just pretty much, you'd pretty much one hit these with Arabia. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm gonna pause it again. Oh my god, what's the drop gonna be? It takes half an hour to kill this last hate tree. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Be something good, be something good, be something good, be something good, because be something good. Oh, more my followers. I don't know how much these are going to cost when I sell them at the general store. There better be something, because I'm getting absolutely shit tons of them. Oh my god, come on, 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 come on. I'm, I'm willing to drop more than I do when I go to a boss. That is the sad thing, because these take the piss to kill. These are boring. I've been here for like so long now. You don't, you, I'm pausing it in between kills, but you don't know how long this kill has been. Yes, finally. Is it something good? <gasps> And it's more Notadors. How common are these? Is this all you get? At least give them more fire runes, Jagex. Wow, I'm owning this one. Holy shit. Fucking beasting. Oh, yes. Get this prayer flick going. Oh, what's the zero? Addy 2H is pulling it out of his ass now. Oh, sad. There we go again. More zeros. More zeros. I'll see you in about another kind of half an hour. Yes. Yes. Go, 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 go. I hit a 190 max hit before. I was like, yeah, go, add it to it. Come on. Go on, call this drop. This is gonna be, I don't know, have a fucking clue what these drop. I think they drop rune square shields as well, so. Could be in for big money if I get one of them. What is the drop? And of course, Mithril Ores. Well, I actually killed one before another one spawned. Two before one spawned, that's pretty impressive. Oh my god, death runes. I just got death rune drop from one. 15 death runes? That's bang loot, man. Oh, maybe if I get more death rune drops by the time I'm finished here, I could have I could use fire fire blast instead. Where is fire blast? 
Where is Fire Blast? There it is. Oh shit, I'm out of fair points. That could be a good option. If I get a Fire Stuff. And if I get more Blast Runes anyway. Because that way I'm less likely to run out because the hit's so hard compared. Damn, this is close. This is good. 10 HP. Come on, come on. One more hit and I've got this thing. Come on, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh yes, oh yes, what a kill. 11 HP. Oh, uncut emerald. Ooh, shiny. Cut this thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna die because it's faster. Oh my god, there's a leather glove spawn here. I forgot about this. I don't know why there is random leather glove spawn there, but I'm gonna take it. I better not reduce my magic attack bonus. Give me some defense though. Yeah. On the way back because I just obviously died like I said I was going to. It is faster I think. Ooh. Students. Demolish. 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 Pick up my stuff. I've got more stuff to pick up this thing. Look at all this. I'm going to research what amulet I can make of emerald. And I might go and make it because it might be worth it. Put that on because I don't want to sit there and punch. Do I? Just got more fire runes up to 84 now. Making bank of them. Come on though, I'm not getting anything. I thought my friend said rune silver colours are common, but this is taking the piss and I just died again. It's like this is the fastest way to bank since I just need prayer. And this gives me prayer when I bank. Look at the amount of coins I got. I got like I got like four coins drops in a row. It's just this is taking the mick now. Vids up to 20 minutes and I haven't got anywhere near glaciers. What the hell, Jagex? Come on, give me some loot. And oh my god, look what I just got, guys. Rune Scimitar. Yes, I am in the money now. Look at that. I am happy now. I'm just going to kill a couple more, and then I'm just going to say, fuck it. Let's go with what I've got and hope it's enough. So let's just kill this one. If I get another one now, I'll be freaking like, holy shit. Back to back Rune Scimitar. Like, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> you can't even imagine it. Like, I mean, I've had Purdy's body from necks and not been this happy. And... Like I've killed so many of these in there. But oh my god. Just hurry up. I'm gonna have to check the stats of these leather gloves. I don't want to use them when the if there could be a downfall. I think I, they've probably got some defence though, so they might be helpful in that way. The glacites is my only problem with glaciers. I'm I think it's probably worth to keep the runes I would to use on the glacites, however the fact is that I need to sell it. <laughs> that is the problem. <laughs> Which is not good. Come on. I should probably make an Addy Scimitar or something, but no, nah, it's probably not worth it. Come on, kill, 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 kill. Oh, yes, good fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Jagex. Oh, sad. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. Right, I can tell you, Varrock. Run north to that general store. Then I can go to the rune shop, which is nearby also. Right, it's finally home telly. Just had a pause, they didn't want to watch me home telly for half an hour. And should I run north to this general store? Oh no, what am I doing? I don't want to go to the general store. Wait, wait, I do as well. I want to sell most of the other stuff, like the runes. Not the runes, the, um, the ores and things. Sell. Sell myth ores. Sell Adios. Well, they didn't sell for much at all, did they? Sell. Rune 7 has 7, 6, 80. Hmm. Not worth selling the different. I'm going to keep them. And then I'm going to see how much I can get for the Rune 7 in the Alcarid Simi Shop. Because I know there's a Simi Shop there. And I could get some bank for it. Right, so this is the Simi Shop here, I think. I remember when these have curtains instead of doors. Pretty cool. Traded. Are you serious? He only does have the Mithril Scimitars. Oh my god, Jagex, for god's sake, why do you do. Why do you disappoint me every single day? Oh, that's, that, what a waste of time that was. Back to Varrock's general store. Right, back to Varrock. I'm going to try this sword shop here. I hope this takes it for a higher price. Sell. Oh. Are you serious? It sells. It gives you free stuff. This shop. Oh, okay. it gives Addy daggers and long swords. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Right, right to the general store. Let's trade. Just gonna sell this. I don't think it's gonna be enough, is it? That is a problem. I got 10k. 
Wow, it sells my ideals back for 400 GP. This shop is not dumb, is it? It's making bank out of me. Right, so I'm just running to the staff shop now. Let's trade this guy. Hopefully he has a fire staff on sale for cheap. 1.5k. That's not good. Oh, bank pen. Right, so there we go. We got the fire staff and 9.2k left. Let's wield that thing. And that means I'm going to sell these fire when I get to the rune ship because I don't need them. Oh, I forgot I could sell the ID2H. Or should I keep it for the glissades? Nah, I think it's going to be worth selling, I think. Oh no, I'm going to buy it. Alk runes. Am I dumb? If I alk it, I'll get a lot more from it. Definitely worth alking. The rune ship's here. Um, this is where everyone needs to mine pure essence. Like, before bots even, you get a long, like quite a few people running to mine pure essence for money. It's just all bots now. It's it's disappointing. Trade. You, oh, he didn't even sell nature runes. Where am I gonna get nature runes from? That's not good. Not good at all, Jagrex. Right, I'm gonna buy these. Buy all. That cost bank. Holy shit. Uh. Air runes. How many do I want? Why is there no X button? That's the one thing they could add at the shop. Just buy X. <laughs> it's common sense, surely, to buy X. Well, how many spells do I have? If I buy that many... Uh, I'm going to sell the death runes. See how much these sell for. Sell items. 93. If I sell max, 1395. How many chaos runes can I get for 1395? Like 10. Are you serious? Worth keeping the death runes? Uh, how many air runes? Right, so I need. I can buy more chaos runes. Let's buy. Oh no, they're out of stock. I need to go to Ports of Rim. Oh wait, did they give? Does this give free air runes? Mind runes even. Oh yes, take all of them. They're gonna come in handy possibly. All of them for free. Now I need to go port to rim. Port to rim, port to rim. And I'm just gonna go and check where I can actually get nature runes. Right. I think I know the a rune shop's down here. Is there a rune shop down here? No, I think it's probably up here. I'm going the wrong way. Now I think I can get where I can get nature runes. I can get them from um, a little shop a little Dungeon South, where you you know you did the quest where you had to mine the blue right ore. In that dungeon there, there is um pirates, and they supposedly drop nature runes commonly. So if I go and kill a few of them, I should get them relatively fast, and I should be able to alk this two each, and it'd be definitely worth doing because it'll get me some more money. Oh, no free runes here. That's disappointing. Wow, why does the wizard, black wizard hat look retarded? I'm going for the blue one because it looks beast. That should be give me some extra bonus. I don't think there's anything else I can really get. I'm going to sell all of these. Sell. Well, I want to sell all but five. I like that little thing in your invent. Looks cool. 42 runes here. Oh no, they're the sell. <laughs> Just going to say, are they cheaper here? That's ridiculous. Right, so let's buy that. Right, that's more chaos runes. <clears throat> Hopefully I've got enough spells now. I don't know if I've got enough air runes. Surely I have. Now I've got my fire stuff. So I'm just going to run south to that dungeon down there and then I'm going to kill some pirates and I should get a two nature runes up pretty soon. So I'm at this dungeon now and the pirates are just up here I think. And I killed a goblin on the way and got 13 mine runes. I was like, oh yeah, bank. Oh my god, run out and run. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, pirates. See, I've never killed these. Look at all these crates. I wonder if you search these. I like pirates treasure type of thing. I wonder if there's bank loot in them. Doubt it, they're probably all empty because the pirates and probably all took it anyway. Oh my god, run! Run! In before first kill. Oh, sad. Bronze arrows, that's what everyone wants. 69, good fight. That was a beast hit. It shouldn't take long to get nature runes from here, surely. Their coins are not going to be worth picking up. Not worth it. Bronze arrows. Hobgoblins drop them quite commonly as well. If the pirates just decide to treat me like, treat me as a scrounger, not give me what I want. 
This is typical for them to not drop what you want, isn't it? I mean, nature is a common here, but they'll drop every they'll drop every other item first before they possibly go with that that common drop. Just because it's typical. I think there's a law to say that it always does what you don't want. I think it's Murphy. Is it Murphy's law? I think that's the one. I'm not 100% sure it might be someone else. But yeah. <laughs> Come on. Look at this. Addy 2 it should wreck these things and I'm still sitting there hitting zeros. Good fight. There we go. That's more like it. What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? Coins. Oh great. 12 coins. As I said, it probably wasn't worth picking up. <laughs> What's this? Coins. I've never been up here. Oh, it's just, is it just another entrance down there? More hobgoblins? Oh well. Come on, kill. Drop me what I need. I need that extra. I need that extra money from the sword to buy more runes. Because the glacites are going to be tough to take down. And now I think they are, that's where I'm going to train my runes. Oh my god, look what I just got. Chaos runes. How many? I have no idea how many I just picked up, but it's probably next to none since the level 26. But can't come in with chaos runes. But drop me nature runes, god damn it! And then I can buy more chaos runes anyway. Because I can buy chaos runes for the money I alk this damn sword for. But nope, not dropping me nature runes. That is not good. Examine. This one's had too much to drink. Yeah, you see pirates I made in this game a long time ago. They're not bad, to be fair. Did they graphically update these at any point? Because, to be fair, I kind of like them. They're just kind of basic and simple. And these, these have been in the game since free to play. I don't know when this dungeon was released. I think it was released with free to play because the quest was in here, wasn't it? Whether the pirates are here or not, I don't know. But I like them. Come on, nature runes. They want to be common, Jagex. Common, I tell you. Oh my god, guys. Just got the nature runes. Finally. I mean, that's meant to be common. You don't know how. I've done a lot of these. Right, let's. I don't want to lure out some shit. Hi, Alk. Hi, Alk. Free. Oh, I did all that for 3.8k. Oh my god, for fuck's sake. What an absolute waste of time. I don't know if I can buy any more runes now, but. Let's go back to Ports of Rim. I can't believe I just freaking wasted all that time of 3.9k. Right, I'll buy me some more Chaos Runes though, and I'll probably even need them in the end, so I guess it is worth it. There's not much else I could have done. Money is so hard, you don't understand. It's, I mean, God, it's difficult. I mean, in members it's so easy. You get infinite Alks on that ring. Well, not infinite, but you get a lot per day, and it's easy enough so easy compared. Right, let's trade. Should got any chaos runes left? Oh yes. Buy all. Yes, I can afford them all. And I've still got 1.6k left. What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to buy a load of mind runes because I'll probably get more damage out of the, them. It'll just take longer. Right, so the next... Right, I'm just going to sell some stuff. Sell that. Equip that. Trade. Sell one nature rune. Oh, you can't sell. Oh, there's no point, it's worth nothing. I don't need all of these. I don't need the fire runes, I'll sell them. Sell 50 fire runes. I need them. Right, my next step of my journey is to go to... I've got enough coins to go to Karamjet. That's good. Let's get to this boat. It's 30 coins, I think. I might be for free since I've done the diaries, but I'm on free to play, so I highly doubt it. And then I need to fish some lobsters. Oh god, god damn, it cost me 30 GP. That's three quarters of my cash stack. Not good at all. Cross gangplank. There we go. Right, I know the fish spots are up here somewhere. Just north of the banana plantation. That's something you can do. You can pick bananas, put them in a crate for 20 GP. It's absolute bank making. It's for the funny thing is people actually you know, legit used to do that. Oh wow, this is where all the free players hang out. Cage harpoon. Oh, if I harpoon, do I get sorties? You can get sorties in free play. I didn't realise that. Time to get some sorties then. No, 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 no. Harpoon. 
Yes, that's more like it. Oh, Tuna, I want sorties. Drop that shit. I'm gonna keep dropping them until I get them um, just just sorties. I love the water. Didn't the water look really good? Not gonna lie, it is, it is pretty damn nice. So yeah, I'm gonna get a full invent of sorties and then I'm gonna go and get chop a tray for some logs to cook them on. So, two minutes. So just fish the full invent, but look at all this tuna. God damn it, I'm gonna have to drop all the tuna and then carry on fishing. I need to get majority swordfish and hope I've got enough. If I run out of prey on the kill, I'm gonna get wrecked and I'm gonna need this food badly. So let's carry on fishing. Right guys, so I've got another full invent and I think this'll this'll do. I've got enough sorties in there, I've got some tuna, but it's gonna take so long to get just sorties because you've got a higher chance of a tuna. Which isn't good. God. How can these all sit and fish all day? Just get members, it's so much easier. And then I know there's a range in here. I'm not I don't think you burn sorties at ninety nine without cooking gauntlets. But I know there's a range you burn less on. So let's just run to this. Use swordfish on that range. Go go go. Cook all. This will give me some nice food and XP. Look at this XP. 140 XP per. Look at this. Oh, I'm actually nearly 124 mil. I'll get a message on my A log. I like them messages. I like it. I just like getting them. It's like two mil seems like a reasonable goal. It's like getting an extra level every so often. Uh, it's insane how much runecrafting XP I've had without training. It's ridiculous. Just making progress for there and I'll unpause when I finish cooking. Right, so I finished cooking and now I'm just going to pray up. As you can see, it didn't burn any, so 99 cooking is good. It's going to eat a tuna. Eat another tuna. I thought that would get me full, but clearly not. And I think... I'm going to activate Fire Blast as autocast. I think I am ready to go and take on the Glacios. Now, I've got plenty of food in case I get hit. Oh, look at this guy. Fairy TC. Nearly, nearly as good as me. And I'm going to have to use my prayers. And I hope I can manage it in 990 prayer points. So I'm going to log it to a member as well. Because obviously I need to be in a member as well to get to Galisos. So I'll unpause when I do log out. Right, so I'm on a member as well now. And I'm at the fairy ring. Which you need to use to access Galisos. It's going to tell you Galisos. Right, to tell you there. This should be interesting to say the least what's going on. I just dropped something. That isn't good. You probably heard that big absolute smash. So as yes, you can see what he's doing here, he's lured his glacier to the wall. That's effectively what I'm gonna do because I can't afford to be tanking the glacier while I do this. And he's currently using the spot which generally is a good idea to use. I'm not I've never actually done this technique before. So this is gonna be quite interesting to try. So I'm gonna attack this one here. I'm gonna have to pray for like it. Oh god. Right, let's pre range. I'm gonna flick it. I know on Glacios, you don't you don't have to have the prayer on until the actual range attack hits you. As you can see it hits me there and then I pre range and it doesn't hit me. Which is how I'm gonna to manage to do this without using too much prayer. Obviously when the glacier's gonna come out, I'm gonna to have to pre um, melee because there's three of them, they'll be attacking me repeatedly. Much harder a prayer flick. This is going pretty well. Oh god. I need to take the enduring. Oh god, it's maging. Oh fucking hell. Eat, 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 eat. Melee prayer, melee prayer. Oh god, it exploded. Oh god, it exploded. Let's kill this thing. Right, I'm gonna change spell. I'm gonna go for the weakest one. I'm gonna kill this thing here. This could take some time. But it's worth the sacrifice of keeping the good runes for the Glacier. As you can see, I'm pretty much out of death runes, so I'm gonna have to switch to Chaos runes soon for the Glacier. So just quickly take this down. Right, that's gonna explode, move out the way. This is going pretty easily, this should be fine. Haven't used too many food. Kinda overestimated how much food I'd need. But the hard part of this challenge was getting the runes from scratch, I mean that was difficult. The getting the money from scratch is difficult as well. If I get what if I get some loot from this, I'll be very impressed. Not going to lie. Don't know why I was gonna take down the unstable first. I probably want to take down the sapping last actually. Because if you kill the unstable first, if it explodes it starts healing. 
and oh fuck I went too far <laughs> start luring it out so the reason I'm not killing it next to the rock is because I need the fact that I need this enduring to be as far as possible away from the glacier as I can otherwise it takes um, extra damage I mean it gets a reduction in damage that it takes so the further, st the further it is away I'm gonna hit higher on it this, this, this spell I'm using right now is shit not going to lie oh crap I'm out of prayer Oh god, I didn't realise, because it's taking so long. I'm going to have to switch to Firebolt. Oh god, I need to take this down. Okay, maybe it wasn't going to be as easy as I thought. Oh, the glacier, the glacier was going to wreck me. Okay, so I've got that lure, so it can't damage me anyway. Let's take this down as fast as I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit harder. Come on, hit max. Oh, 120, that's what I want. <laughs> you see that call there? Hit a max and it did it. This is going to be tough. So I am I am, I am planning on doing a Glacier's Guide at some point in the future. I know people keep asking for it. And I'm going to show pretty much the majority of methods, some lower methods that will involve doing this technique. Because you haven't got the defense to tank these or whatever. To higher level methods where you'll melee the Glacier's or possibly mage them at a faster rate. And just tank the Glacier for faster speed. And then I'll go on to even using Steel Titan. And that's what you'll use for the fastest skills you'll possibly ever do with Storm of Armadillo as well for the Glacites because that'll be uber fast I'm telling you you can get over like 60 kills an hour with that tactic uh, I'm not sure on kills per hour using the lower level tactics however this is still always a good place to go because every 10 kills you get on average every 10 kills you'll get um, a Shard of Armadillo which if you craft into runes with an assist from 99 rune crafting you will possibly get 160k from on average 10 kills right let me kill this thing as fast as I can Come on, come on, come on. Before it explodes. I should probably just I should probably just save spot it. Right, it's gonna explode. And now if I hit one hundred damage on it it'll die. Which is gonna save me. Yes, good fight. Right, now I need to take down the glacier. Now I've got no food. I'm gonna switch back onto my top spell. Oh I killed it. Oh, I was meant to kill the sapping last. I've got no prayer, so it doesn't even matter. Oh god. That's my bad. Need to switch spells. Oh god, it's actually wrecking me. Go, 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 go. Come on. I can't let it heal. Oh, my phone's going off. Oh no, it's healing. It's finished healing anyway. And it's gonna explode soon. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna manage this. And I died. No! Oh my god. And I had a swordfish as well. Damn. Well, guys, I tried my best. But as you can see, I made a massive error by not killing the glacier fast enough, which is completely my bad. But you can see I was so close to managing it. I could have managed it if I just thought about it a bit more. But I hope you've enjoyed me doing this little challenge. And I kind of enjoyed it too. It's pretty fun to try and do a glacier in free to play gear. People are like, it's easy, but the fact you haven't got a prayer pot is what makes it difficult, because obviously I'm using low level spells, and I was trying to use low runes on the minions, and I realised, oh shit, my prayers went out. And then I killed the unstable last one, I should have killed the sapping last one. Oh well, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Sorry this one's out late, by the way.